On the old channel, before the copyright police got it, I made a video about this scene. The season 3 ending Corangrata scene. Or it was more of an episode analysis than a scene analysis, but I think I can make that point better now and more concisely. Because I think this scene is one of, if not the best scene in this show, which just happens to be my favourite TV show of all time. The Sopranos is almost hypocritical from its conceit. We are positioned as the audience to root for Tony Soprano and his friends when they aren't working against him, when their actions, by the moral standards of most of the audience, are reprehensible. This immorality is not lost on the audience, at least hopefully. It might actually be the show's most basic triumph. This idea of the protagonist and the institutions they inhabit being inherently immoral might be the most interesting and most influential thing about The Sopranos. Breaking Bad and Mad Men, two shows that that by all accounts are also in the greatest of all time discussion, revel in this same hypocrisy. As does obviously The Godfather before them. The Godfather obviously influenced The Sopranos, as The Sopranos has influenced Mad Men and Breaking Bad. But there seems to be a fascination with the inherently hypocritical. Probably because as human beings we are bound to be hypocritical. It's something innate to the human experience, and rooting for Tony Soprano over more morally virtuous characters like the FBI who chase after him season after season is something that seemingly we can't help but do. For whatever reason, we relate to Tony Soprano when we know we shouldn't. But all this is achieved through positioning. Tony Soprano is our protagonist, and by conventional context, that means he's the good guy. That means we root for him no matter what he does or who he kills. It's Tony. We understand and we like Tony. But he is a bad guy. But we forgive him because we are positioned to like him by the show. But when the show decides to play with this line of hypocrisy, that's when it's at its best. And the character that is mostly used to show some self-awareness of the hypocrisy going on in the show is Meadow Soprano, Tony's daughter. The way Meadow is used to highlight the hypocrisy in the show and in Tony is what makes this scene so special and outstanding. This, as I said, is the final scene in the season finale of season three of The Sopranos. After Jackie Jr.'s wake, everyone heads to Artie's restaurant to continue the mourning process, at least that's what they're supposed to be doing. Junior ends up singing an old Italian song, Corangrata, or Ungrateful Heart when translated, and the cast has this moment of humanity and emotion hearing the beautiful rendition of this song as the season comes to a close. There's a whole separate video I could write about how the lyrics Junior sings here are symbolically representative of him as a character, but we won't get into that here. This moment of togetherness is heartwarming. The entire cast nearly is here and they are unified listening to a nostalgic song that reminds them of their culture and heritage as Italians. Sang beautifully and vulnerably by Junior, a man who does not usually embody those characteristics. But this moment threatens to be ruined because of Meadow. While the performance is happening, Meadow, who's drunk and depressed for reasons we'll get into in a second, starts throwing bread at Junior trying to disrupt the performance. It doesn't work because Tony notices and chases her out of the restaurant, but this moment here and this conflict is emblematic of the inherent hypocrisy of this show thrives on, and it's so brilliant. This is a moment nearly all Soprano fans look back on with affection. Johnny Sack crying is a sight, and it really demonstrates the cultural weight this performance has on the Italian characters, even to an Australian teenager with no cultural reference point for any of this context. But this moment deserves to be ruined. This scene is disgustingly hypocritical. These people, our characters, are antithetical not only to the theme they are indulging in through this performance, but to the Italian-American experience. Don't forget, this is Jackie Jr.'s funeral, where they are supposed to be gathered to pay their respects to the boy. But they are the ones that killed him. Not in a symbolic way where them exposing him to this lifestyle ended up killing him too soon, but in a very literal way. Tony and Ralph ordered the murder of this child. Yet here at his funeral, they want to indulge in this moment of melancholy and camaraderie, and chastise Meadow for being upset when she's the only one actually at the funeral that cared about Jackie Jr. Jackie Jr. was killed by Vito on orders from Ralph, who was Jackie Jr.'s stepfather, on orders of Tony, who was best friends with Jackie Jr.'s father. They were supposed to be there for him, but they weren't. They killed him, and now they want to have this moment at what's supposed to be his funeral. And Meadow saw this hypocrisy and lashed out, completely justifiably. But not only does everyone around her think she's the annoying one ruining this lovely moment, but the audience does as well. All because of positioning. We feel this moment, and Meadow threatens to ruin this moment. Therefore, Tony is the protagonist protagonist, the good guy, stopping her from ruining it, even though she's completely justified in her anger. Meadow and Jackie Jr.'s romance was most of Meadow's story in season 3. 
They were childhood friends who reconnected in college and got together. Even though they broke up right before he died because she caught him with another girl, she still cared about him. She's the only one at Artie's restaurant who cared about him. She's the only one there actually grieving. Everyone else there is literally responsible for him being dead, which is something Meadow is told by Jackie Jr.'s sister earlier in the episode, who seems to be more cynical and self-aware than even Meadow. Now, Meadow initially rejects this, not knowing any better, but it clearly plays in her mind for the rest of the episode, as by the final scene here, she seems to have accepted it, and that's why she lashes out. This is a narrative through line for Meadow throughout the series. She stands on a tightrope sometimes hating and wanting to get away from her family because of their mafia connections, and other times finding herself defending them outright and playing into their hypocrisy. Meadow was a smart girl. She figured out at a young age without being told that her father was in the mafia. One of the most famous scenes in the show is her frankly confronting her father in the first season, just asking him if he's in the mafia. This scene is a great example of her rejecting her family, but at times she finds herself defending them even after this scene takes place canonically, as well as risking going down the same path as her mother, becoming a mob wife. Meadow dates Jackie Jr. as he tries to make a name for himself in the mob, and there's a notable scene in a later season where she defends her family's practices to one of her boyfriends, Finn, when he airs his frustrations about being around them. And ultimately, come the end of the series, she is dating Pat Parisi's son, who's already getting into mob-related trouble. This is an internal conflict with Meadow's character throughout the show, whether she can reject her family and her heritage and forge her own path and become a professional woman, like Melfi, as Tony puts it, or if she'll go down the same path as her mother and become another mob wife. And this internal conflict also manifests in this scene. Meadow is drunk here, and through the performance, she starts throwing bread at Junior, like I said, which Tony notices and gets angry at for potentially ruining this moment. He takes her outside, and they have a confrontation where she only says one thing. Meadow just yells, this is such bullshit, before running across a very busy street into ongoing traffic. She doesn't get hit, but she also doesn't care. But like I said also, the most interesting part of all this is the positioning of the characters here. We are positioned to feel the weight of this performance and we get frustrated with Meadow for being rude and interrupting it. This even plays out in the comment section of this scene posted on YouTube. There are comments everywhere shitting on Meadow here, like this one. This is one of the few times in the show I hated Meadow even more than AJ. This comment has more than 200 likes, and it's amazing to me how so many people could stupidly miss the point. Meadow is the sympathetic one here, as these monsters responsible for killing her friend celebrate and sing on his grave, acting like this absurd hypocrisy isn't inherent, when it absolutely is. In reality, this is all such bullshit. But that's The Sopranos. Everything is so complicated and hypocritical, even Meadow is hypocritical as she goes on to contradict her frustrations with her family in this scene when she defends her family later on in the series. Again, everyone is hypocritical. But that's why I love this scene so much. The subtle way the show portrays her frustration with everything I just said by having her get drunk, lash out at the hypocritical celebration, then scream at her father about this all being bullshit is cathartic if you actually think about it. She's the only one that really cares while all these idiots sit inside and cry to themselves about the old country or some bullshit that never actually existed. The fact that these mobsters don't feel like they've disgraced their heritage by becoming what they have become, and the fact that they all can enjoy this moment is absurdly hypocritical. But still, you find yourself right along with them, probably singing along, because you're also a hypocrite. Meadow is right in all her actions here, but still, we side with Tony, and what does that say about us? Support my work and influence me to do more work like this by checking out my Patreon. Support links in the description below. Thanks.